Hey guys, welcome back to another Surveying with Robert's Tuesday tip. So today's tip is going to be uh, you bring a DXF file into your uh, data collector into the map screen. How do I create points on it? That was a question that was asked of me the other day. So first things first. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to bring a, a, a DXF file, or once, I guess I should say, once you bring the DXF file into the data collector. Most of you already know how to do that. You, you drop the DXF file under your Trimble DAT folder. It's going to be under your project, whatever your project name is, okay? So uh, once you have it in there, then what you want to do is go over here on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to find these two little square boxes. That basically represents base maps is what that is. So we're going to click on that. And if you look, I've got this house drawing, this DXF of a house drawing that I actually created in Civil 3D. And then I brought it over. So one of the things you want to do is make sure it is selectable by drawing, by hitting that little check mark right there. That draws a little box around it. Now, this may look a little easier for me because I'm using a mouse, right? So let's say we go in here. By the way, a little tip there, if you hold the plus down and then draw your window, it'll zoom in on it. So if I look and I keep zooming in, look at our scale bar over here on the right hand side. You'll see that that's five hundredths right there. So pretty much an inch across there is equal to five hundredths. So I think I could get pretty close. So if I went up here and hit the little arrow and I used my mouse and I clicked right there, I could say key in point. So I could actually create a point right there and I could call it, whoops, let's try it this way. We'll say building corner. Oh, for a point name, smart Robert. How about we call it 100 and we call the code building corner. And we give it an elevation um, 300 feet. Enter, store. So there you go. So now I have point number 100 set. And because of our scale right here, I bet you I'm pretty close to that point. So let's look at, let's back out of here a little bit. So there again, if I hold down, I'm just going to draw a box around here and I'm going to look. Okay. That's one way to do it. Okay. We can go, go that way and set our building corners if we need to. But there's another way to do it um, that may be more favorable to you. So everywhere there's an endpoint in here, I can actually create a point. So if I go in and I look under settings, you're going to see that there is right here, map data controls. So what I normally do is I'll go in and click on explode polylines and I'll say create nodes. Uh, the exploding polylines, don't know if that's extremely necessary on what we're doing right now. Uh, I normally do that, but in this case we won't. We'll see if it has any effect on it. I say accept, boom. See all those nodes that were just created, all these endpoints? So what Business Center did is it went in and created all these for me. So let's, um, I did this point right here. So if we go in and I zoom back down to 100, it's actually created a few points in there for me. There again, I'm back down to that same scale, right? So now if I go and draw a box and select it, and I say review, that's everything that's in there. Here's the line that's created, um, points on the end of those lines basically, and here's where it actually created points. So if I went and looked at that point, you can see what that point is. No elevation, no layer, no anything, uh, and, and that's the point name. If I wanted to go in and stake that point out, I could say, um, I could just select it, and then I could go in here and I could say, um, let's see, I've actually got the alignment in here. So let's do this. Let's clear selection. And let me get out of that. 
me zoom out a little bit so I can show you better. So if I go in here and I select on that particular point, I can say stake out point. Of course, I don't have anything set up right now, but if I said stake out, that's what it would look like. So I can actually stake those points out just by selecting them. So what you're going to find out is, is that it has created multiple points on that endpoint. Let's do clear selection, select it. See, it's actually creating multiple points in there. Each one of these is creating multiple points for that. This is like the end of the line. These are points that created at the intersection. Um, so, I mean, you could do this a couple different ways, right? So you can, you can go in, I can go in anywhere in here and set a point. Um, somebody said, hey, Robert, I need a point in the middle of that house right there. I could just click right there, hold down, say key in point, and it's going to create me a point right there. So um, I just wanted to show you guys this uh, quick little tip on how to create points in uh, Access. I, I don't know that many of you are familiar with the fact that you could actually go in and create a point that way. So um, if I go into Settings, Create nodes, except now my points went away. So now if I go back and look at point manager, you're going to see all I have is this point. Crazy, huh? So it just got rid of all those nodes that I had. I go back in. Whoops, wrong one. If I go back into settings, I go back in here to create nodes. Except there's my nodes. If I go back into point manager, there's all those points in there that is created, right? So a couple different ways there that you can do it. You can either do it by creating the nodes or you can select the points yourself. If you're going to select the points yourself, remember there is no O snaps in here. So um, I'm, I would really want to zoom in tight if that's what I was trying to do. If I wanted to go in and manually set points, if you zoom in really, really tight, then you could set a point. Could be kind of tedious, but hey, might save you butt out there in the field one day, right? So, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Tuesday tip. Like I said, don't forget, tomorrow I'm doing a, a um, uh, be the Wednesday the 25th, maybe? Is it tomorrow the 25th? Let's see here. Let me look on my handy dandy. Yep, 25th. So, tomorrow the 25th, I'm actually doing a TBC Power Hour, and I'm going to show you how to solve some common problems, like if you set up on the wrong point, backside the wrong point, just some you know, rod heights, just some real simple stuff on how to fix it in Business Center. Because um, if you send somebody out in the field, they collect data, they bring it back in, they forgot to do something, you don't want to have to send them back out to, to resurvey something uh, when all you have to do is fix it in Business Center. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, love you guys. Take care, especially with all this craziness going on right now. Uh, Wash your hands, right? Wash your hands. Wash your hands. My hands are about raw from washing my hands. Wash your hands. Um, uh, you guys don't need to be catching any of these viruses. We'll get too much work to do to be, be down sick, right? Okay? So, God bless. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you guys watching.